first thing we need to do is we need to go to the Microsoft Make Code website. This can be accessed by typing in Make Code into Google or going to www.makecode.microbit.org. Next thing we need to do is select a new project. Once we've selected a new project, we need to make sure that we have the all-in-one robotics board uh, extensions added. So we can select advanced extensions and then we type in all in one robotics board. And this is the result we end up with. You'll see now that there is now an added option here in the menu and robotics is the option. So if I select robotics and I go down and I select motors, you can see we now have a number of different options around the whole use of motors. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move the forever tab over here. We don't really need it here for today. If we wanted to delete it, we could just simply drag it and drop it back into the menu. And that's how we delete anything that we don't need uh, during the course of our programming. To start off with, we would like to have no motors running. So the best way to do it would be to say that on start, when we start up, that we're going to turn off all the outputs. So nothing's going to happen until when I turn it on, it's going to make sure that all the outputs are turned off. So nothing's going to run because they're all going to be turned off. So what we want to do here is we want to have an input or we want to have a decision made when we press a button. And we are going to go and select a button press, which will be hidden in input. So we select input. And we can see that the first option is what we want to achieve. So on button A, something will happen. So I'll pull that command down here. And we're going to go and find the motor commands in the robotics uh, section of the all-in-one robotics extension. So if I select robotics, and I select motors, and if I pick this first one, motor one uh, on direction, it'll tell me that I can do a number of different things with that. So on my board, I have a motor, a DC motor, plugged into uh, the motor one slot on the all-in-one robotics board. So I'm going to select motor one. It's selected as default there anyway. And I'm going to select direction, forward, and speed. I'm going to change to 100. There's a, if I can, I can type in the speed I want, or I can take this slider and slide it up from zero to 100. So if you imagine the top speed of the motor being 100% and the motor being at 0% when it's turned off, and we have every uh, scale between there. So I'm going to turn it forward at 100%. So the first line of code is created there, and it says that on button A press, when button A on the micro bit is pressed, so this button here, motor one on my, that's connected to my, uh, the motor one slot of my all one robotics board will move forward at a speed of 100%. So we're gonna give it a second command. I can select input, drag another button command down into the, the screen. You'll see here that we have two buttons on the micro bit, button A and button B. So I'm going to ask it to do something when button B is pressed now. So on button B pressed, when button B is pressed, I'm going to tell it to do something different with my motor one. So on button B pressed, motor one is going to go in the direction of reverse. So I'm going to reverse my motor and I'm going to put it at a speed of 50%. Fifty percent. So now, when motor button A is pressed, it'll move the motor forward in the forward direction at one hundred percent speed. And on button B pressed, it's going to move motor one in the direction of reverse at fifty percent speed. There is also another option here to uh, combine the presses of these buttons. So if I press button A and button B, it will give me a third option of input. So I can go to my input and select my button and do it that way. Or I can just simply click, left click 
on my last command. Right click then and select duplicate. Bring that down. You can see that it's all uh, in, a, in a hatch pattern there and it's faded out in a yellow mustard color. That means that there are two button Bs existing on the page and it can't, uh, that, that can't be possible. So if I select the, the, the drop down menu and I can select button A and B, it now changes to the full solid color. So if button A and B are pressed together, motor one will turn on in the direction of forward at zero percent. So motor one turning either in forward or reverse at zero percent will mean that the motor is stopped. So to recap, on button A pressed, motor one will move forward at 100% full speed. If button B is pressed, motor one will move in the reverse direction at half speed or 50%. And if motor, if A and B are pressed, the buttons A and B are pressed together, then motor one will move in the direction of forward at a speed of 0%, which means it will be stopped.